Good morning, you guys. So we made it up, to Hawaii. We made it. Oh my goodness. Yesterday, we got here last night. It was like our long travel day. We, 10 plus hours of flying. Yeah, it was like almost 11 hours on the plane. Cause when we came to Hawaii on our honeymoon, we did not fly direct. So I think we flew to like Los Angeles or something. Right which is only six hours, then we had like a little layover, and then we came here, so it wasn't like that long on a plane. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes a layover really helps. Yeah, just so you can get up. off of the plane. I mean, it was nice to just get here directly, but it was definitely a long day of travel, so we were really tired. We really didn't do much yesterday, right. um, but we are up and ready to start our day. We literally woke up at 6.30 in the morning okay. here yeah. <laughs> because that's like noon time at home, so... Yeah, we're out on the balcony right now. I'm going to show you guys the view. It is so, so beautiful. It's a sunny day and we're going to get headed down to the pool. But this is the view from our room. That is Diamond Head over there, which a lot of people like hike that and stuff. They have like an infinity pool at this resort, which we have chairs at down there. Wait for a half hour to get that umbrella chair. Yeah, Steven got up like really early this morning because I wanted a chair with an umbrella because you guys know I don't like to like really go in the sun that much, you know, because my skin is really fair. So Steven waited. Yeah, I was like the fifth person in line. <laughs> Him and all the moms to, yeah. <laughs> to get a chair with an umbrella at the infinity pool. But we were up early anyway, so it was fine. But how beautiful is this water? Definitely not New Jersey water. So I think now since Steven already got our chairs situated, we're gonna go grab some breakfast real quick, then head to the pool. Okay, so Steven got some eggs Benedict, which I wish I got, because that looks so good. Um, I just got bacon and eggs, but it looks pretty good as well. And this restaurant is so, so pretty. It's like right on the water. Like how stunning is this view? Oh, love it. All right, you guys, so we just finished up breakfast. Now we're gonna head over, there's like an ABC store, which is like a convenience store kind of thing. We're gonna head there and get some drinks and then head to the pool and show you guys that. I think we need to get some Hawaiian wine to try. This is got anything between these two. I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right, we got some wine. Now we're gonna head to the pool. It's really nice because there are two pools at this resort. Um, we're staying at the Sheraton Waikiki, if any of you are interested, but there's like a big one that has, you know, for families and kids and stuff. So if you have kids, it's great. But then there's also an infinity pool. It's adults only. Yeah, which is adults only. So our chairs are over at the infinity pool. That's literally like why I booked this place. I saw the infinity pool online was like, woo, that looks pretty. But this is like the regular pool. I'll show you guys this. It's very windy today, but then you just walk down like a little pathway on the water and then you go over to the infinity pool area. Just hanging in the infinity pool now. It's nice to just be able to like hang over. There's like a little ledge thing. And then you get the view. Okay guys, super excited. We're heading back downstairs. We spent the morning at the pool, but we are going on a boat today. <laughs> like a catamaran boat, which I don't yeah. think I've ever actually been on a catamaran. No. Have you? No. Yeah, so it's our first time. It looked a little rocky. We saw them like in the water and I was like, oh good lord, because I do get motion sickness and I don't have, you know, any of those like motion patches things that you put behind your ear. So fingers crossed, we'll hoping, what you know. <laughs> hoping for the best. Okay, we were literally just looking at the ocean and the waves are huge, so <laughs> a little nervous because that means the boat's really going to be rocking and rolling. Sucks for you. <laughs> This is what we're going on. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Hopefully it's good. So far I'm doing okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I survived the catamaran, no seasickness. It was a lot of fun, and now we're heading out to dinner. We're going to like a Japanese steakhouse kind of place, so I'll show you guys when we get there. Woo. <laughs> hey guys. 
So today we just rented a car. We're waiting for our Uber to come pick us up to bring us to the rental car place. And we're gonna head over to the North Shore. We've rented a Jeep, but we have our fingers crossed that it's actually gonna be one that like we can remove the top from. Soft top. Yeah, because that's what we did on our honeymoon. It was so nice to be able to just like go kind of like convertible. So fingers crossed that's what we get, but we're gonna wait for our Uber and then we'll talk to you guys once we get the car. All right guys, so we just got the rental car. We did not get a soft top, but it's like a T-top or something. So it is what it is. It's probably better for my hair because my hair is already blowing. My lash is hanging on for dear life with this wind. Um, but it's nice to just like cruise with the windows down and like the top off. It's kind of like a big sunroof sort of situation, but we're gonna make our way to Giovanni's shrimp truck, which everyone told us to go there. I love shrimp. Steven is actually allergic, so he can't eat it, but they do have other stuff there. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna get the shrimp and then Steven will get I guess whatever else they have but everyone's like you have to go there so that's where we're heading now and up to the North Shore to check out those beaches. guys can see it on the camera uh, so Steven is putting the roof back on <laughs> just so we don't get wet for the time being we got the roof back on just in the nick of time because now it's really starting to rain Oh my goodness, that looks so good. <laughs> Steven got his garlic hot dog. That actually looks good though. I know. Ooh, looks delish. Oh my God, so this helicopter is like literally about to take off right where we were. Okay, you guys, we just came to this place called Turtle Bay. How pretty is the view here? We just took a bunch of pictures. I had these like <laughs> really big heels on. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was like not happening so I'm in flip-flops I just shot in like bare feet and held the shoes but it's so pretty I'm gonna show you guys the scenery we found a little bar on the ocean such pretty views We just ordered, but I got this. It sounds so good. Pink bikini. Steven got like a local beer. Yeah, but it's such pretty views. Drink just came. Did you have some of your beer yet? Is it good? Very good. All right, I'm gonna do a little taste test of mine. So good. Really refreshing. Now we're just watching the sunset. Guy looks so pretty. Good morning, you guys. Make sure the door's locked. Um, Steven got up really bright and early to go get us like chairs and stuff at the pool. So we're so he's down there because you have to get up early here to get the chairs. I don't really know why, but he did that. So now we're heading down because we're gonna go get some donuts. We like do this everywhere that we go because we love donuts. So <laughs> whenever we travel, we find like a local place who does donuts and We'll go dry them out. So that's what we're gonna do this morning and I'll bring you guys along. Okay, so we realized the donut place doesn't actually open till 11 a.m. because, I don't know, but um, we get up here really early, so it's like eight o'clock in the morning. So we just got breakfast at the coffee shop at the hotel. We'll probably go to the donut place later. We got Hawaiian iced lattes. So it's espresso, coconut milk, and macadamia nut syrup. And it's, mm, literally so good and then I got an acai bowl I've only ever had one of these once I know they're like super popular you know even like in Jersey and stuff but I've only ever had one once but figured if I was in Hawaii I should get one so I'm gonna try it now Steven got a breakfast burrito he was not much but he was not down for the acai bowl I tried to convince him <laughs> he was like I'm not eating that you got the Hawaiian iced latte though you liked it yeah really good so we're just having breakfast by the pool Okay, so I've had some of this. 
I feel like it's a little weird. I don't know. I think what I had at home was not an acai bowl. I think it was something else. It was like a, I don't know. There's another one and I think that's what I had. So this is definitely different, but it's good. It's just like interesting tasting. And I've never had like coconut flakes really like that, but they taste really good. Steven demolished his uh, burrito. Record time. <laughs> was it good? It's pretty good. Yeah. All right, Steven's happy now that he got his donuts. Ooh, they look really good. They do. Ooh, they Sorry. smell good, oh my God. Ooh, okay guys, so we came downstairs to take some content and it's sunset and it is so stinking beautiful. beautiful yeah. You guys can see Diamond Head in the background there. And there's like all these people on the beach watching the sunset. It's just like so pretty. Ooh. I'm gonna show you guys. How beautiful is this sunset? What's up guys? So we got home from Hawaii earlier today. You guys can literally see our suitcase behind me. Um, we're in the midst of just doing some wash and you know, getting our lives back together and on track now that we're home. And the time change is definitely a little bit like messing me up, but I wanted to sit down and kind of end this vlog by answering the most asked questions that I saw from you guys while we were there. So I was getting tons of DMs on Instagram, asked me a bunch of questions, obviously because travel and everything right now, there's a lot of differences from, you know, travel pre COVID and stuff. So I got a lot of questions just about that, about Hawaii. So I just wanted to answer the most asked one. So obviously I already told you guys that we were staying at the Sheraton Waikiki. It was a really nice hotel, great pool area. The rooms were nice. I thought that it was priced reasonably for how nice the hotel was, um, especially for Hawaii. Hawaii because Hawaii can be very expensive. The only thing that I'll say is that the restaurants at the hotel, I didn't think were like incredible. They were not bad, but anytime we ate at one, like even if it was like lunch or breakfast or something, it was like almost a hundred dollars. And I felt like the food was kind of like, eh. So we definitely left the resort a lot, especially always for dinner, but it was in a really great location. So you could walk pretty much anywhere in Waikiki. The hotel was kind of right in the center of everything. So it was very easy for us to walk to dinner every single night, no problems there. I did also get a lot of questions about travel, like how to get there, how it works, all that stuff. So we actually picked Hawaii specifically because it's still in the United States. So as of right now, the time that I'm making this video, when you leave the United States, no matter where you're going, upon coming back to the US, you do have to get a COVID test, whether you're vaccinated or not, doesn't matter, you still have to get one. Where in Hawaii, you do not have to do that. So you can leave Hawaii and come back to the mainland United States and you do not need to get any sort of test or anything. Um, but to go to Hawaii from the mainland US, you either have to show proof of vaccination or get a negative COVID test within I think 72 hours of your trip. It really wasn't difficult. There's an online website that you go to, you answer some questions, upload your documentation, and then do a little check-in at the airport before you take off to Hawaii. And they give you kind of like a wristband and then you just, you just go through. That was our experience. It really wasn't hard. I was a little nervous. I was just like, I don't know you know, is this gonna, like, do we need to get to the airport like four hours early or something? Um, and that wasn't the case at all. It really was a simple um, streamlined process. So it wasn't difficult. Lots of people also asking about rental cars because we did rent that Jeep that one day for, so it was a 24 hour, you know, rental. I know previously there was like a shortage. I think it was like nationwide on, uh, rental cars and actually one of our uber drivers in hawaii was telling us hawaii specifically was really bad because many of the um, Rental car agencies in hawaii during the pandemic had to actually sell all of the cars because they nobody was renting them because no one was traveling You know, it was just way too expensive to keep all these cars that nobody was renting So they like sold all their cars and now they don't have enough But I definitely do think it's getting better now because when we were there I booked it like 24 hours before we picked it up and it wasn't an issue and it cost around $200 for the jeep for 24 hours, but it definitely it would have cost a lot more for us to Uber all the way up to the North Shore and around there because that's about an hour and a half drive from Waikiki. It's just nice to be able to like explore on your own and you know have your own vehicle. So we really enjoyed doing that. But if you're just planning to stay in Waikiki, you don't need a car. You can pretty much walk anywhere there. Um, again, it's you know very city like, tons of tons of stuff, high rise buildings, um, and everything is very walkable. And then the last most asked question that I got was in regards to masks. Like a lot of people were like, what is you know just regulations I guess in general. Like what is it like there? So you obviously have to wear a mask the entire time you're in any airport and the entire time you're on a plane so for the 11 hour trip there that was definitely i think the longest i ever wore a mask um was you know because ultimately you know you're at the airport like two hours before probably an hour after so all in all i probably had that mask on for like 15 hours or so by the time we left our house here to the time we got to the hotel there um so that was definitely a long time but you know it is what it is i feel like after a while you kind of forget it's on your face so you definitely have to wear it in the airports airplanes ubers all sorts of stuff like that um car service whatever you have to transport you back and forth to the hotel and then as far as when you're there okay sorry the camera 
have died, but we're back. Um, but essentially once you're there from what I saw and everywhere that we went, um, most places, if you are inside, if you're inside a store or walking to a table or something inside of a restaurant, they do ask for you to wear your masks, which is fine. So me and Steven, of course, did that. Um, when you're outside, you don't have to wear them. Some people we saw did, lots of people we saw were not. If you're just walking around outside or something, it's not required that you wear one. A lot of the malls and stuff out there too are outdoor. Um, kind of malls. So when you're just walking around, you don't necessarily need one. But if you do go inside of a store in all the places we went, you did have to wear one. Um, so just make sure to have it in your bag or whatever when you need it. So yeah, that's pretty much the most asked question. But yeah, overall, it was a great trip. It was so much fun. Um, I hope that I answered most of your questions and you guys enjoyed our vlog and we will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.